Hope y'all are having a great day. Um, so today, I'm gonna try this. So my truck is a 2013 Tundra. One of the things that has definitely happened is the oxidation, the oxidation of my lenses. I've tried this thing before and it didn't go as planned. I have asked my good buddy, Jacob Ham, who is a uh, headlight restoration expert. Um, he has his degree, I think, in uh, severe oxidation. I'm hoping he'll be able to shed some light on how to use this thing properly. And, uh, hopefully I won't screw it up worse than it looks right now. And so here's what it looks like now. I am here with um, my, my good buddy, Jacob. And he is the uh, ceramic headlight um, restoration expert. He actually has his uh, PhD in headlight restoration. I'm reading over the instructions right now. <clears throat> and so, does that look like it's uh, what you studied in, in, in school? Uh, no. This is amateur stuff. Yeah. All right. Any suggestions or words of wisdom on what we got to do here? Probably these steps that are written on the box. I would assume. That's my guess. So, it, it, so the three easy steps, clean, sand, coat, done. So really? So really, that's four. So this is already... I don't, I don't understand that. Yeah. Well, done is not really a step. Well, done is a step. It's done. So... It's confusing. I call bull squat on this. Like, this is not a good uh, omen for this is the preparation starting phase of... of uh, I don't know if I feel uh, like I trust this product yet. What do you think? It says three easy steps. And there's clearly four. So I'm already confused. I know it better look like that. Heck yeah. Or we're writing a customer review and it's not going to be pretty, okay? Okay, how do we gauge that? So, do you have, do you have your um, percentage brightness um, tester with you? It's got one of the steps. Yeah. It's not on there, we're not doing it. Alright, so this is not 143% brighter. I'm bringing it back and get my refund. And I will put a customer review like they've never, ever seen before. Alright? Alright, so uh, we've done the uh, step one here. Um, we prepped this sucker. What do you think? Is it, does it meet standards? Yeah, it's alright. Alright, here we go. Step two. Alright, so we've masked it off. Ah! Is that net? Put on included protective gloves. Okay. Well, they're not black. Yeah, it's, it's definitely shows black here. I'm a little offended. That's one star off the review. One star. One star down. Alright. Ah! Open oxidation wipe packet and remove wipe. Keep it folded. Coating, coating, oxidation remover. So there's, at least they got two, so that's good. There's, there's, there's two headlights. Open, okay. With moderate pressure, wipe the headlight lens evenly from top to bottom in a scrubbing motion. We practice. Okay. So, scrubbing. Oh, yeah. Is this a prop? You're the expert. Is this an appropriate wiping, scrubbing, no, scrubbing motion? Oh, God, I was doing wiping. Yeah, okay, you're wiping. But this is scrubbing, right? Yes. Rinse thoroughly to allow dry, what? That don't make sense. I don't know if I'm scrubbing or, 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 or wiping. I don't know which way I'm going. Rinse thoroughly and allow to dry completely before proceeding to step. What does that mean? Rinse with what? What am I supposed to be rinsing with? Coke White will turn yellow when soiled as oxidation is extracted from lens. If any oxidation remover encounters oxidation can take surface, wipe off immediately. Rinse thoroughly and allow to dry completely before proceeding. Second. Mm. All right, so wipe. Up and down. Oh, that's rub no, they said rubbing. 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 Rubbing and rubbing. Well, I hope this works. It is turning yellow. So that part of it's been honest. So it said to uh, rinse the oxidizer. But I don't know what it, it didn't specify rinse with what, but I'm assuming it's water. Hose pink. Kinking of the hose. Kinky. Rinse thoroughly. Hose thorough? Yeah. Step two, sand. Remove included sanding pads and contour grip pad from box. I've already done that. It's in my hand. Make sure the lens is completely dry. It's pretty dry. It's dry. Use a spray bottle of clean water. Spray. So it's saying I gotta get a spray bottle now of water. But they said they wanted it dry. What does that even mean? So what was the point of being, making it sure it's dry? Spray. The spray. 
Got a bottle. It's spraying. So let's make sure it's completely dry and then spray water on it. What pattern do I gotta do here? Serpentine. Using light pressure in a non-circular motion for three to four minutes, creating a uniform frosted appearance. Keep surface damp with water and sand until yellow runoff begins to turn white or clear. I don't see any yellow. That's a three to four minutes. All right, so we have sanded using the 1,000 grit, 2,000 grit, and 3,000 grit in non-circular motions for three to four minutes each. Wax on. Make the hand, make the suck off. Wax off. Make sure your headlight lens is completely dry prior to proceeding. Ensure you are applying a well-ventilated area. It's ventilated. Then we take ceramic headlight coating. We gotta wait for the dry first. So. Well, there you have it. I think the stuff worked. Now, to, uh, what did it say, 132, 142% brighter. So I don't know how to really measure that, but we're going to have to figure that one out. So, any suggestions on how we can do the measuring of how bright it is? Yeah, that's, that is a good point. So we have to wait till it gets dark. Figure that one out. All right, so, as Jacob uh, very wisely said, we need to check out and test the brightness at night when it's dark. So, so let's see if it's any brighter. Yeah. That's definitely 143% or 142% brighter. All jokes aside, it is uh, <laughs> it's definitely a little brighter. So, these LEDs probably gonna burn people's retinas, but it sure looks good. So, it's all worth it.